okay so now we formally come to the topic of cascading dynamic gates so we see that this is not this is not the right way to cascade hai na what would happen here if the out transition is from 1 to 0 then i will have some discharge and that will not be refreshed yes so out one goes to zero after ck comes but even before out out one has go, goes to zero out two has discharged a little hai na so you cannot really cascade dynamic gate just like this so what do we do we can have other ways to cascade gates so which is like first we already talked about put an inverter in between hmm the inverter will solve the problem because transitions are now always Zero to zero to one, है ना? तो zero to one transitions are safe, no problems there. Hmm. This is called domino logic. Why is it called domino? You seen dominoes? Yes, sir. The circuit is being evaluated one after the another stage by stage. Yeah. So dominoes are are stacks of cards. one falls it touches the other one the other one falls the other one falls the other one falls and the whole chain activate gets activated hmm? uh during the corona times there was this ad you know that you have to break the chain so wear the mask so uh, one person wears the mask that person comes out of this domino chain and the overall chain breaks otherwise everyone gets infected you remember that ad whatsapp pe bahut circulate hui thi seen that Yes, sir. Hmm? So domino. This is called domino because until out one goes to one, PDN the second PDN will not evaluate. So only after first PDN has evaluated will the second PDN evaluate. Then the third PDN evaluate. Then the fourth PDN evaluate. That is why it is called as domino logic. Okay. Yeah. Questions. So Tarun. um hello sir it's a more of an open ended question so as we go more and more towards low power design so shouldn't uh, the the dynamic circuits be be, be like uh, of very little use yeah but there's still much more as i said there's still much more option used than uh, ptl and uh, pseudo pseudo and mosfet is, is not used almost anywhere hmm? you'll still see dynamic circuits used fairly often much often than pseudo and mos and ptl okay like in we take example of power wall and all so that in that context just thank you yeah mother sir learning all these all these different designs is fine but with so much variety of designs that are possible and uh, how do we even decide what a particular how to design a particular thing like in a processor there will be thousands of different components like adders multipliers and so many different kinds of things and so many different kinds of constraint if this is fast then this has to be slow and all these things have to be met so how do we even decide on so these the things the default so madhu the default would be static schema okay now if you want higher speed than static schema then you go to dynamic okay if in the static cmos you know that there are places where you could say varia by going to ptl and that uh, those trans those movements are always uh, you know zero 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 output to be transmitted from one side to the other then you could go to ptl also okay for example now this will be ptl wala cheez would be in in places like implementing muxes in memories okay so there are some very specific use cases for all these other design types default is always static cmos and that too whatever is best for your uh, layout all those queued cmos gates and uh, high skew low skew and all those they are also very specifically used in data paths uh, when you really want to speed up exactly one or two critical paths otherwise even they are not used even though they are static cmos okay but all these levers you should know as designers because tomorrow when you go and design somewhere 
you should know that okay if, if my manager or my uh, customer is asking for much higher speed there is one this additional lever that i have which is domino logic i can try that and you can experiment with it and you can see okay now with domino static cmos i can go to 500 megahertz then domino i can go to 800 but with static cmos the power was uh, let us say 2 milliwatts and the dano domino it is 3.8 i've got much higher speed but power has also increased so let the customer choose okay yes. okay so, so like in embedded systems like application i will prefer to use static because it consumes lo- lower power and not yeah. typically you will only use static mother static is the mainstay that is why it is also taught in second third year okay okay this being an advanced course you're talking about more advanced things also okay sir. okay yes sir those are not the mainstay don't confuse it with that they are not the mainstay all this dcvsl and all those so we we discussed the cvsl for example is only only used for xor nor combination almost nowhere else the very specific uh, ideas and they are being shared so that app trigger ho and if you come up with you know you you get inspired by these specific games and you can propose something new yourself also okay sir okay devrit Uh, yes sir sir one confusion that i am getting over here is uh, sir sub, uh, how we are preserving the means uh, total means logic actually total input to output logic how do you preserve that in a regular static cmos gate sir uh, my confusion here is suppose we are implementing an sop say, suppose ab plus cd so first stage would be and gate next stage would be or gate so now here we are place, if you are placing an inverter in between so means that no they are bubble pushing na de morgan's theorem you know that na so some kind of bubble pushing need to be made and mm-hmm. nand nand representation something like yes. that yes what's the big deal there that is a simpler part mm-hmm. the other challenges that we discussed just now they are the more complex ones they breed bubble pushing is so logical it is so simple ha uh, sir so, so suppose you you have given me to design aoi in non complex form in a uh, we, where individual gates need to be also to, uh, a, a dynamic gate so mm-hmm. uh, you will not ask me that uh, suppose this is a and gate why we implemented using a nand gate you will just simply the input and output right yeah and sir one more question here you is you have to create uh, the truth table that's it uh, yes a truth table should be preserved input and output and one more thing here is that uh, it's a keeper circuit how we how we can place that can you just show in the diagram now keeper circuit yahan dikhaya to hai the first level and the uh, first level mm mm-hmm. yeah okay why why was this question there sir uh, आउटपुट कैपेसिटेंस इंक्रीज हो जाएगा ना थोड़ा सा एक्चुअली मतलब छोटा सा तो कीपर है 0.135 बाय 0.2 इट्स अ वेरी स्मॉल कीपर उससे ज्यादा तो आपकी वायर की कैपेसिटेंस आ जाएगी ओके सो टर्निंग ऑन द कीपर वुड बी नॉट अ प्रॉब्लम और चैलेंज एनीवे दैट्स या दैट इज व्हाई यू आल्सो डिजाइन इट टू बी वेरी स्मॉल ना यस सर यस सर थैंक यू yeah so can we here also prefer that in the inverter can we prefer a high speed inverter here because we are only interested in the 0 to 1 transition yes you can fazer so i understood the issue of cascading uh, ki uh, out out one agar 0 se 1 ho jayega to out to kabhi bhi discharge ho sakta to how by using this inverter how we are re- Uh, removing this i am not able to get that part you tell me uh, what was the if this inverter was not there what was the default state of input coming to this second pdn if this inverter was not there what would be this input's default state in the precharge state 0 to 1 ha eh? clock what is 0 it? yes sir clock is 0 so what will okay. be the level of this input but, if this inverter was not there 
clock is zero then uh, it is one yeah hai na so if yes. it is one then what happens as soon as clock comes one. as soon as clock comes even before this one discharges this one would discharge yes sir we don't want that yes sir isliye hum usko zero kar okay yes okay 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 hai na because inverter changes the default state to zero yes sir okay so yeah this is also explained in the animation over here now domino we just discussed why it is domino because only after the first one is evaluated the second one will be evaluated and the third one then the fourth one okay and uh, again property of domino only non inverted logic can be can be implemented and because it is dynamic gate based and capacitances are reduced there is smaller logical effort this is much much faster and as one of you already pointed out inverter can be skewed because only one transition is important for us the other one is not even important hmm so domino can be designed very very fast now look at it like this over here if i know that only after this comes here will this gate be evaluated do i even need a clock over here so what we say is okay let us remove the footer of the subsequent stages hmm and then we remove the footer of the subsequent stages we are able to uh reduce the mn mosses also we can reduce the size of the n mosses in this stack also and therefore gain further area are you able to see this yes sir but this can be done only if there is no static output coming to right this can be done only if this out one is going something like this and then there is other whatever you know out one is coming here if out one was also in parallel with some other stuff then you can't do this then the ck has to be there are you able to see this So, sorry can you explain this point again yeah so why did we say that we will we will remove this footer transistor because we said that okay this this will get evaluated here and only after this gets evaluated can this output get discharged hai na yes sir what does that mean that this first out one is in the same situation as a footer there is nothing in parallel to out one which would allow this logic to discharge the the capacitance over here yes sir yes hai na now let us say if in parallel to out one there was some other signal also let us say e that was coming then you still need this okay right Yes, sir. Because otherwise, this 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 uh, the output load over here will start to get discharged through this other path. Yes, sir. Basically, I need to ensure that out it out is the latest yes. signal that is arriving. Yes. So this yes. footless domino, this is called as footless domino, uh, can be uh, has to be used only very carefully. Cannot be just uh, or remove all the footers and go ahead. It cannot work. okay yes sir. so carefully you, but you know what is being said is there is a scope of further optimization we were talking about n plus 2 we could possibly do with only n plus 1 hmm then there is also this differential or dual rail domino where you have uh, you know again possibly used for xor and xnor kind of a thing where a and b and a bar and b bar all are used okay and you get the differential output also again as i said differential gates jahan pe aapko chahiye wahan pe hi khali aap isko use karoge you will use it only at those places where you see where you need that differential output to be driven okay so but here we can also get the inverting outputs right so yeah, yeah. that so i am yes and that is where we did not put an we did not bring the keeper uh, 
input from after this inverter. We said, okay, we will use it from here itself. Okay, because the outputs are inverted. One of the keepers is going to be on, the other one is going to be off. Hmm? 